Good morning everyone. It's Circus Stu here. Now I was just going into my circus tent to get out my friends. Mr. Lima and Mr. Bunny. So for today's session, we're going to look at interesting things you can do with just one hand and maybe one or two jogging balls, okay? But of course we're gonna do some exercises to get going and to warm up. And if, uh, if you're feeling rather tired or that you find it hard to stand up, it doesn't matter because you can do this sitting down. You can, in fact, if you have some puppets like this, you can just do hand movements like this. So you can work out your own routine and if you want something a bit more uh, energetic, then let's walk on the spot. And let's turn the music up. And here we go. Make it a bit louder, I think. And let's turn around. to the beat. Let's lift those arms up and down. Let's walk around again. And let's walk the other way. And now one arm, I mean one leg lift, one after the other. See how high you can get it, so you can get up to your chest. And what about raising one foot up, see how high you can get it. And then the other one, see how high you can get it. And let's move our arms like this. And the other way. And back the other way. Back. And let's twist. Good. We are now warmed up a bit. Ready for some action. Let's turn that down. Okay, good. So you will need a jogging ball or a tennis ball or anything that's round. Could be a bean bag. It could be the ones that we made a few weeks ago. Here's uh, an example. Um, so this is a good example. So you can see here closely, bring it in. It's a bag full of red lentils. Could be any beans or pulses in a plastic bag, tied up, so don't let them loose. And then this red thing is a balloon that's had its end cut off and then you stuff the bag of things in and, and it makes a really pretty juggling ball, just like that. So you can do that if you can't find a ball in your house. Most people will have a ball or some sort of object. So, uh, first thing, thing to do, if you have a nice perfectly round one, then uh, one form of, of juggling, that's called contact juggling, is where the item never actually leaves your hand. So you learn to roll it backwards and forwards. So you see, and you might have seen people do this in the street, they have much larger balls. I do have one somewhere, but I couldn't find it today. But it needs a lot of practice. Can you see holding a ball on your hand and just trying to roll it backwards and forwards without it falling off? It's actually quite tricky. It's a bit easier on the palm of the hand, but that's one thing you can practice at any time you want to. Learning to control it. And you'll then see them doing things like this, rolling the, the item around like that. And again, <laughs> I'm very good at dropping it. And the ones that are really good will roll it down their arm, behind their back, down the other arm. You can see if I try this, 
it'll be a disaster thing. So here we go. Oh, I got it part way down my arm before it fell off. Anyway, that's something for you to try. Okay, if you have a nice round ball. Second thing to do, if you have a nice floppy ball, like for example a bean bag, this is quite fun because you can, if I move sideways, you can see a bit better, you can throw it up, let it land, throw it up, try to turn your hand around so you catch it on the other side, flip again and again, and see how many flips you can do like that. It gets, of course, gets a lot trickier if you have where's my, another bean bag. Here we are. If you try it with two. Did it one? Oh, my mates, I can do that. So, have a go with two. Oh, dropped both that time. So have a go. If you have got something that will give a bit like a bean bag, have a go at doing it like that. You can, of course, try... Um, with a normal round ball but that is uh, much harder see if it's easy if I do it like that well it's a bit easy if you start with it on with it on the back of the hand and throw it up so you can have a go with that with a round ball as well if you want to so we've done that you can then try uh, catching it on other parts of your body so let's try our arm Oh, it drops. Or you can start it on your arm, throw it up, try and catch it on your hand. Throw up, try and catch it on your arm. So that's quite fun. There's lots of bits you can throw it on. So you can try and catch it on your shoulder. Let's try that again. Oh, you see that's actually quite hard. Oh, I caught it. Yes. So you can see, practice makes perfect. Uh, let's see if I throw it up and try and get it back to my arm. Oh, on my hand. Yes, that worked. Uh, you can try fun ones like throwing up and trying to catch it on, on the back of your head. So here we go. I'm not very good at this. Let's see what happens. Oh, I did it. I did it. Can I throw it up? <gasps> a valiant attempt. So you can have a go at those. You can throw it up and move it a bit lower and try to catch it on your head. Oh, that's hard. Of course, you don't want to be doing this with a real ball because that might actually hurt your head. But, uh, oh. So you can see, there's lots of things you can try and do to catch it. So find your own and um, try and catch it on your knee. Oh. Or maybe you have it on one knee, throw it up <laughs> and try and catch it on the other. <laughs> that didn't work either. There's lots of things you can try. So if there's big, big basic one. So if you find that you're getting good at a certain throw, then try and make it a little harder by maybe starting by throwing under your leg and then doing doing the catch on your hand like that. Uh, so let's try that again. Under the leg, catch or drop. So you can try those ones. And um, Next thing we can move on to, uh, if you've got um, just a standard catch, so throw, catch, throw, catch, try throwing it under the arm, catching, and try and do it just with the same arm. So you might, people when they're doing this are tempted to use the other arm. So if you put it behind your back, throw, catch, throw, catch, try it under the other leg. So you can alternate it legs you do it with okay so it's one leg two legs left right left if you find that easy then try it with your other hand so I'm gonna put my right hand behind me throw oh, I caught it with that one naughty me see what I mean you can get yourself confused so left leg right leg left leg right leg dropped again. So, let's pick up my ball. You can do that. If you have two balls, then again, one arm behind your back. Try throwing one and then the other. And see if you can keep that going. 
And there's two ways you would, there's lots of ways you can do it. One of the standard ways is to make the balls go in columns. So like this, so they're staying in their own space. I got them both. Or you can make them go in a circle, so they're going round like that, okay? So that looks like this. Ah, oh, I dropped one. Trouble is with round bouncy balls, no, these, these are bouncy ones, okay? Whee! You can have, uh, they can easily bounce out of your hand, making it much harder. So, uh, warnings about that, but that's quite fun. And of course, if you have a bouncy ball, you can then try bouncing um, two balls at once. So again, I'm hiding my arm behind me, so I just use one hand, one bounce. Oh, you can see that that could take a little while getting used to. It. We can try that. Um, and then if you've got a floppy ball, of balls like bean bags, or you've got um, a standard juggling ball, then you can do the same. So here we go, columns with one hand, okay? Of course you can do this with scarves as well. Um, uh, I think we were doing scarves before, earlier, um, another session, weren't we? Where we did them in columns like that. So they're just staying in their own space, okay? You can of course swap with the other hand. The nice thing about scarves is you, you have a bit more um, time. So now if you want to do, instead of um, columns with scarves, if you try getting them around, going around in the circle, this is what it will hopefully look like. There we are. And you get to, into a nice rhythm uh, with that. Let's try it with the other arm, so I can put that behind me. Uh, which way am I gonna go, that way? Of course you can try to go, go the other way. Like that. That's quite nice because you're you're just dropping them down the center, catching at the bottom, and you're so sort of windmilling your windmilling your arm around to the top to drop them in again. That's quite fun. And that's a nice rhythm. So bit bit let's move to bean bags. So um, again you can uh, do them in columns. So you can see we have much less time uh, if things go horribly wrong uh, with bean bags. So columns, it's like that. So you will have to practice doing this, um, but it's good practicing these things. So let's try my left hand. Oh, see my left hand is not so consistent. So let's try it again. Oh, they're going a bit everywhere, but you can see the idea. Let's try going round in, oh, round in a circle. That's not so bad with my left hand. Let's see what it's like in my right hand. Yeah, it feels a lot easier. So there's things there to practice, okay? And of course, if you get really competent with that, you can even uh, start trying to throw one under the under the leg, or you can start, you can start throwing them behind your back. In fact, that's quite a tricky one, actually, behind your back. Hi, Pete, nice to see you. Try to throw one behind your back and catch it with the other hand. Uh, that That's a bit easier than what I, I was gonna suggest, uh, which is what we want to work up to. So uh, when you're going behind your back, so if I have my shoulder behind, side on so you can see, we're swinging our arm behind and then we're letting go at this point, but then hopefully it goes over here. So it's whoosh, and catch, okay? Uh, let's, try, let's try it that, that way, see if that helps to see. So what we're going to try to make it really hard is we're going to throw it behind our back and we're going to try and be good because this whole session's about uh, learning to do it with just one hand. We're going to throw it behind our back and then try and catch it with the same hand. Throw. <laughs> I dropped it. So throw. Hit my shoulder. Where's my next one? <laughs> right. Throw. Catch. Throw. Drop. Oh dear. <coughs> so you can see, this is 
much trickier than if you're catching with the other half. Now let's have a real challenge and try it with my left hand. Mm, what could possibly go wrong? So let's get used to throwing behind my back and catching with my other hand to start with. Well, that's, not, that's not too bad. Good. Now let's see if I can catch it with the same hand. So I must resist the temptation of trying to catch it with my right hand. So throw. Oh, yes. Throw. Oh, I dropped it. I should have stopped on the first time. <coughs> it's all right. Let's, let's do a side profile so you can see. Left hand. Oh, drop. And try profile this way. Yes, I caught it. Okay, so lots of fun things you can do if you just have one or maybe two bean bags, balls of any sort, uh, or even scarves. So that's the end of our today's session. So it's, it's splitting into nice, fun things you can do with challenging yourself to get just one hand to do all the work. And of course, we've shown you ways to, 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 to progress into learning those things. But you will have to practice. And um, yes, practice is good, isn't it? Yes, it's great. So uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.